What's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the all new Odroid H2 and I had a lot of requests to test out PS2 emulation. So in this video I'm just going to show you how it performs on the H2. I will be switching between PC SX2 1.5 and PC SX2 1.4 but I find that 1.5 actually works a little better on this board. If you're not familiar with the Odroid H2 I just did a full video on it, did a lot of testing. Basically what we have here is a little Intel nut clone made by Odroid. You have to add your own memory. It runs DDR4. I have 8 gigabytes of 2400 megahertz RAM in here. And you also have to add your own storage. So the CPU is a low-end Intel Celeron J4105. It will turbo up to 2.4 gigahertz single thread performance. And overall, performance that I've seen out of this in other applications and games isn't all that bad for a 12 watt CPU. So first up, I'm going to be testing out God of War 2. I'm using PC SX2 1.50, then I'm going to switch over to 1.4. There's not much difference between them, at least in this game here. And of course, you might be able to get a little better performance out of this if you tweak each individual setting inside of this emulator per game. But for me, I've kind of used the basic setting, went to aggressive, lowest resolution, and this is what I'm getting out of it around 40 to 45 FPS, 75% of the original speed that the PlayStation 2 ran this game at. I'm going to show you how it performs in PC SX2 1.4. We're going to switch over there. Get a little better FPS, but it's still not playable. Now, like I mentioned, you could always go through and customize each individual setting, but I don't think you're going to be running this at full speed with the CPU. I'm just going to run through a few more games here. Now, every single one of these will be using the DirectX 11 back in. I have tested OpenGL and DirectX 9. DirectX 11 works much better with this little combo. So here we have Tekken 5. This is kind of one of my go-to tests. I didn't think it was going to run it because we didn't get a good frame rate in God of War 2. And as you can see, I do have all of my information listed in the top left-hand corner. We're running around 40 FPS. Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex actually runs pretty well until we reach certain areas in the game. You will notice a significant frame drop, especially in this area here. We were at a constant 60 and now we're down to 48-47 FPS with all these reflections going on. The H2 just doesn't have enough raw CPU performance to get PS2 games running well. Of course you're going to find games that work better than others and a lot of the 2D PlayStation 2 games are going to run perfectly on here, but a majority of the 3D stuff just isn't going to work. This is Gran Turismo 3 and I had a good feeling it wasn't going to run well, but I still wanted to test it. This is Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal. I am using PC SX2 1.5, runs a lot better in this emulator, but the H2 just isn't gonna cut it. And finally, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, this is the PS2 version using PC SX2 1.5. I was able to set it to 2X resolution, so this is 720p running really well, but I would recommend playing the Dreamcast version, and it will run at 1080p using the ReDream emulator on the H2. For the most part, 2D PS2 games will run fine on this board. So PS2 emulation isn't great on the H2. I mean, it does GameCube, it does N64, it does Dreamcast really well, but unless you're willing to deal with the frame drops in the lower end PS2 games, it's pretty much out of the question here. 2D games should work well, but most of the great 2D games that were on PS2 were also on other consoles that we can emulate here also. So if you've been eyeballing the Odroid H2 specifically for emulation, just note that PS2 doesn't work well on here. I know people are going to ask if Wii U or the SimU emulator is going to work. If it doesn't handle PS2, it's definitely not going to handle the SimU emulator very good at all. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Make sure you check out my other Odroid H2 videos. I'm going to leave a link to a playlist in the description. If you want to see anything else running on here, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.